Okay, so hello, my name is Martina and I'm from Poland. And um, in Poland, in Warsaw, I study uh, cultural studies and philosophy, and uh, I'm a PhD uh, candidate in cultural studies at the University of Warsaw. And right now, I'm in Barcelona. Actually, it was a kind of snap decision. I, I didn't think about this like for a long time. I didn't do any preparation or anything like that. But as I, I used to write a lot as I was a child, and then I just quit this, and um, I was more focused on um, academic papers. So I thought that maybe it's a good idea, and it's like a, a, a good trigger for uh, my coming back to, to writing, like writing stories. So because of that reason, I'm, I'm re really happy that I decided to send, uh, to send my story. So I'm not like a big fan of science fiction stories, but in this particular case, I decided to uh, set the story in the future. Uh, just because I thought that uh, when we talk about universal problems such as discrimination, we need a kind of uh, abstract situation so that we can like reflect on, on this problem freely. Uh, that's why I, I said a story in the future, it's like a kind of academic, uh, sorry, apocalyptic word. And it's after the, uh, the end of the, wor of the world, the previous one that people used to know. They have like just dark memories of this previous world. But as they had a chance to somehow uh, enter the alternative world, they decided that they can like set up new rules and new law. And as they knew that uh, the reason why the previous world was destroyed were like racial, religious wars. So they thought that um, the main problem behind all these wars were identi uh, identities. So people were too much attached to their identities. So uh, they found a kind of solution. And in this new alternative world, everybody, every citizen has to change uh, their identities in every seven years. Mm. So this is like a basic plot and when you think about this you can easily say that that makes another further problems because that's like a very universal and basic problem or dilemma of freedom. Because you can easily imagine that uh, if I, for example, if I have to change my identity, identity, so my race, my religion, the color of skin and everything in every seven years, maybe I just don't want to do this. Yeah. So when, even if we try to like set up rules that would um, cope with our problems, sometimes it leads to, uh, to further problems. So it's, it's a little bit pessimistic, I would say, that uh, we can't find like obvious solutions and the world is much more complex and we somehow have to deal with this complexity of the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking, like, obviously I, I, I support strongly this campaign and I think it's like a great idea and campaigns like that have to exist and it's like a very important part of, uh, of the society. Uh, but when I think, obviously, as I said and as I, as I was trying to show in my, in my story, there are like no obvious ready uh, solutions. But that's good that we do something. It's better to. It's always better to do something than not to do anything. That's like a golden rule, I think. And uh, so I'm not going to come up with like ready solutions. <laughs> Absolutely no. But I think that what we should do and what is like very important factor in all this is obviously education. And what I was thinking is that. Um, Obviously, like democracy and society is not only about freedom, it's also about responsibility. So the main question is how we can teach people responsibility. Because I don't believe that it's something that you are born with, you know. So basically your family, a school, uh, they, they have to teach you how to be responsible. Uh, I know myself I have always problems with responsibility, so I know that I have to somehow learn how to be responsible. It's the same with empathy uh, and being sensitive to what other people may feel. We have to somehow learn how, how to do this. It's not so natural for, na for us people. Uh, 
Um, so I believe they're like um, finding the ways how we can teach people, um, not like um, somehow um, impose on them rules because it doesn't make any sense, like rules that coming from external world or outer world. Uh, it's more like an ed education that goes inside and makes you to feel in a different way so that you, you're more sensitive to others' needs, how they may feel. Um, so probably it's like um, mm, the best way uh, to, to somehow reduce, for example, hate, hate speech in the, in the internet or in general, like all kind of discrimination and, and so on. So I, I strongly believe that ed education is the key, but not like this typical formal education, like lecturing or something like that. Obviously, it's not what I, what I mean. It, we need to find like new ways of, of uh, making people more sensitive because it's about sensitivity.